Hey, hello guys. This is Karthik from executeautomation.com. This is part one of our framework design and development video series. So in this part, we are going to talk about frameworks importance in automation testing. So that why these people are so crazily requiring an automation testing framework. Why do they require this? Well, automation testing framework is a way to organize the code. That's it. Provided it should be reusable, scalable, maintainable, understandable, and workable. So if these properties are there in your automation testing framework, then you have written a framework which is the best. Reusable. A framework once written should be used by multiple people across same or multiple teams, not just for one project, but it should be used across multiple projects. Which means we should not develop a framework keeping just one project in mind. We should develop a framework keeping multiple projects in mind by supporting multiple technologies and also the framework should able to run same project by multiple people. Now also using framework one can reduce the effort spent on X components which is already written or available. Meaning if you have written one component just try to reuse that. Don't try to re rewrite the same code or reinventing the wheels. So basically you can reuse the same component which is already available in the framework. And using the already available code will require less or no testing since the available code is not all new or and it's already in use which means you don't have to test the same code again and again since it's already available it's already been tested it's already in use right but if you try to write the same code with a different name with same logic which is already available in your framework then of course you gotta test it scalable a framework written should be scalable meaning it should be used from smaller to bigger project Framework should also support multiple projects as we already discussed. Framework should be scaled to support multiple technologies and tools. Not just one tool, but it should also support multiple tools within itself. So the technology can be a web or windows or even a web service based technologies. Whereas the tools can be Selenium, Robotium, JBehave, TestNG, etc. within same framework. Meaning your framework should have all these technologies and tools within itself so that if we need to change or use the technology we should easily do that by using a config file right we'll talk about configuration files and you know switching between technologies and tools in greater detail in this video series well just keep in mind that your framework should be scalable maintainable Framework should be easily maintainable, meaning the code needs to be segregated as a logical group of same types. Here it is classes. As you go towards the coding, we call them as classes. Well, as of now, just consider, just keep in mind that they are segregated as a logical group of same type and functionalities. So let's say you're going to write a logging functionality for your framework, then keep that as a separate type or separate group. If you're going to perform some operation on reporting of your automation result, then you keep them as a separate type. Similarly, if you're going to write a wrapper class for your Selenium, then write it as a separate type. That's how you maintain your code. So each and every code in framework should be documented so that duplicate code will not emerge as a result of lack of knowledge on the existing code. Framework should be different entity, meaning Framework should be different entity from the rough test project so that changes to the framework will go to the frameworks project whereas the changes to the test will go to the test project. So what I'm trying to say here is while we develop a framework we should keep the framework project as a separate project and the test project which is the one which you're going to write the test scripts for your application should be a separate project since your application can keep on changing whereas the framework is something which is generic entity which can be used across multiple projects so keep the framework as a separate project and your application project as a separate project so that it can be easily maintainable workable framework should be usable by the team Framework should be pluggable and even less knowledge automation test engineer should work with the code 
using the framework method meaning write your framework as simple as possible so that anybody can use your framework it should not be like you know very programmatic or somebody who see your framework should think like okay the guy who write this framework is a very tech geek and maybe only a tech geek can understand his framework it should not be like that if you are a tech geek try to bring down the complexity in such a granular level that even a less knowledge that automation test engineer should easily use that code well that's all guys so if we have all these important properties within our framework then we can say we have designed a best framework or an industry standard framework for our automation testing so in our upcoming video series we'll talk more about automation testing models and types of frameworks and also we are going to design and implement a whole new framework which include all these properties which we discussed in this video. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.